Hey, we're here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm Chris. This is Margie. And this is AFA Addy Family Adventures. And uh, we're here to look at something kind of scientific. So let's go take a look. So we are once again in Fort Wayne and we are heading up here to Science Central. And from the way I understand, they have an exhibit here that has to do with mazes. So we're gonna see what we can do while we're in here and all the different kinds of neat stuff about science. All right, we're here at the, just a small little thing as we walked in the Jacob's Ladder. And Margie's going to hit the button, and we're going to see what it does. Oh, look at that. Oh, you got to hold the button, Margie. Oh, yeah. Isn't that neat? <laughs> they have a green iguana over here. Central America, Central Mexico, the Caribbean Islands, to Southern Brazil and Paraguay. Their habitats are tropical rainforests. The vegetation is in fruits. As pets, leafy green vegetables, fruits, specially formulated pellets, lifespan up to 20 years. 20 to 71 eggs per clutch, size up to six feet, including the tail. An iguana. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but we have a Euromastix. North Africa to the Middle East. Habitat arid areas with little rainfall, sparse vegetation, and Temperatures ranging from 80 degrees to 120 degrees is omnivorous. 12 years is its lifespan. 6 to 23 eggs per clutch. Size 12 to 16 inches long. Look at him. Inside here we have a bearded dragon. And... They come from Central Australia, semi-arid woodland and rocky desert. It's omnivorous. Diets are insects, small lizards, and mammals, fruits, flowers. Lifespan is 10 years, generally around 20 eggs in a clutch, up to 24 inches long. Here we have an African clawed frog, frog, and there's two of them in here. One's swimming around, the other one was swimming around just as we started He's recording. He's a bit bigger too. They're native to South, Southern Africa. Pond, lakes, marshes, rain pools, streams, reservoirs, and ditches, and the wild living dead insects, crustaceans, small fish. Uh, Females may up to lay up to 1,000 eggs per clutch multiple times a year. Adults may grow to two to five inches. Females are larger than males. Yeah. So I wonder if that's a male and this is a female because this one is larger. All right, here's a warning. Mom, if you're watching this video, look away, okay? <laughs> But we have rats. Oh, rats. There's not, no real information here about rats, is there? I meant there's a little book, a guide on them, sitting down here at the bottom. So. All right, so we're gonna turn away from the rats. 
All right, Mom, it's safe. You can look. I don't know if this is real, but isn't that a blowfish? Pufferfish? Or a pufferfish. Well, blowfish, pufferfish. And they got all kinds of different shells. Duh. If it's not, it looks like one. I don't know. All right, so we... Okay, wait. <laughs> we have our sound pipes, and what you do is you hit the hole with the carpet to make different noise. So Margie is going to play Beethoven. <laughs> Didn't sound like Beethoven, no. <laughs> so here we have, what is the attraction? And it's a maze, and Margie's gonna guide with the magnet, the little ball bearing through the maze. She's already lost. Where am I gonna go? I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's just so cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's... Are you sure? I don't know. I don't see a place where it's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're... I don't know. Is it just a game to pull it through, or... Yeah. To bring it all the way back around? I don't know. Here we have a magnet pendulum. Go ahead, Marge. Magnetic rings. <laughs> what are you trying? Are you supposed to try to push it down? So this is because it's got two. Uh, one. They got. What is it? It's probably two positives or two negatives. On as what it is. So it's pushing away instead of pulling. Margie is checking out how tall she is. You're over five foot. You want to try me? I would say you're about five six. Five five. Did I get it? Yeah, why? Watch what? What are we watching? Where's, oh, okay. The rock is launched at a natural magnet made of magnet. Its magnetic properties affect the nearby compass, so the compass points to the location of the magnetic Right, compass. right. All right, so, do you want to record it or no? Yeah, we're recording now. Oh, look at the needles moving as it goes. So they're pointing towards the magnetic poles of the rock. Right, right. Oh, this one looks really... Yeah. Okay. Alright, so this is a magnet and what it would do to a television screen. So you do this? I can do well I don't you can yeah, sure. Hold on. Alright. This is the magnet. Yeah. Oh, it's moving it. See that? I just killed it. Warping the image on there. All right. What do we got next? Iron meteorite. Let's Touch see. the meteorite and note its texture. Lift the meteorite to feel the weight. Hold the magnet close to the meteorite. All right. Touch the meteorite. Okay. 
call it. There we go. <laughs> Does it make it heavier? Yes. Oh, wow. That's neat. All right, so this is electric wand. And what do we do, Margie? Okay, you're gonna press a button. Press, press a button. And press and hold the button. All right. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. Well, that would mean that they're. It's either like probably aluminum or so it's just basically showing you how to test for what would be I think recyclable I don't know but aluminum is recyclable but it's not magnetic so here we have generation station this is we're gonna generate electricity So this one, yeah, it's hooked to the drill right now. Are you turning it the right direction? All right, let me try. Here. I don't know. Maybe right. I'm not doing it right. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we should be able to plug this in the light and now make the light come on oh yeah all right same way with this one yeah you can kind of see right, right. now but it is a Tesla ball oh here we go <laughs> then they got a lantern, a television. We're gonna do the radio. <coughs> is that the radio, or is that you cranking? I don't think that works. I don't know. Try, try, try the television. Go ahead. Come on this side. Okay. see anything happening. No, neither. Here, you hold. Let me tr try. Okay. There it goes. Oh, I see the light now. Okay. So Chris is doing the bicycle generator. He's going to convert his energy into electricity by pedaling the bicycle. Number one is what? Number one is the turbine driven boiler feed pump sent high pressure water to the boiler and an emergency was used to start the boiler. Mm -hmm. Number two is the motor driven boiler feed pump could be used during boiler startup mode or to operate the boiler during repair system, All right. system repairs. Number three is Number three way is back, back here. Is, it's the boiler burn coal to produce heat that converted water into steam. And number four? Number four is water treatment tank held additional treated water for the boiler. Number five is way back here. Number up, up high under the stairway. Up high. Oh, I right. see seven. Right. Uh, where's five? Way up there. Oh, I see it way back it's here. It's the coal elevator. Lifted coal from the ground floor up into storage bunkers two stories above you. And then six is right number here. Number six 
piping. It transported steam and water throughout the power plant and was regulated by valves. Number seven. Seven, stairs allowed workers to access the entire power plant for operations and maintenance, including the smokestacks on the roof. So that's for the city light and power. All right, so they have a height for males and females. It says 90% of the American population falls within the green color board. So they have your age up above and then it shows the heights. So Margie standing in and she does not fall in the green. So let's see. Chris, he's actually just a tad bit above the green. Unbelievable. So just like something that we've always known, Margie is not average. <laughs> Alright, so we have what is called a light rider wall. No, 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 no. The cables down here, they have the lights on. I don't see it. Hold the light source close to the wall, move it around, and notice what happens. Do you see something? What? Oh, it must be too bright is what it is. We're getting too much light in here. All right. Here, let's try Ta -da. I got one better. One better. Oh, wait, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> this, I believe, is Fred the Mastodon. I'm trying to see if there's any information on Fred. Here's one. Well, it's a, here's a Fred fact. Ooh, a Fred fact. What is the Fred fact, Mari? Did you know most of the complete set of Mastodon tracks were found in Saline, Michigan, near Ann Arbor? You can see a cast of those tracks at the University of Michigan's Museum of Natural History. Oh, wow. You can't stay up in front of me. It won't hear. So what are we doing? Place your foot inside the Mastodon's foot to measure up. I don't think it's as big as Rick Smith, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. Whole entire mast mastodon skeleton in here. All right, so what is it? So here we go. Uh oh. Ooh. Here, think of that hula hoop for a second. It's pretty neat. Look, I'm holding a big slinky, Margie. <laughs> Hang on. You pick up the noodle. A noodle. Actually, step back. You can see yourself a little bit better. Oh, wow. Okay, so now let's try the hula hoop. Yeah. Are you going to actually hula hoop? Okay, this is what Margie's doing. Oh, I'm just, <laughs> this I'm is what it looks me. like. So now we're walking into the traveling exhibit, which is amazed. Yep. And Margie is going to guide us through this. <laughs> She's 
she said we're gonna get lost. So here we go. Still does not matter. Which way are we going under? go. I hope this maze has an ending to it like what the unlike the one with the ball. supposed to go? <laughs> Were we supposed to get to the middle? Yes. Just a minute. Okay, now we gotta find our way back out. Do you remember how we got here? She said kinda. go the wrong way? <laughs> Margie could walk right under him. I can't. <laughs> nope. It. Did you find us the way out? And we found our way out of the maze. Cardboard box maze. Things to do in the maze. Find your way to the center of the maze and back out. Keep going in and out of the maze until you can get to the center and back out again without... Uh, well, we did that the first time, so. So they do have a gift shop here at Science Central. All kinds of stuffed animals. Puzzles to put, like 3D puzzles for dinosaurs. What is that, Margie? Oh, so that's what, it's just a 3D puzzle of a mammoth? Right. Here, the ultimate 3D maze. Oh yeah. There's a Science Central T-shirt right here. And, and the one thing that we've ever So yeah, it's something really to come and check out, obviously. And you can get something before you head out. There's a pinhole camera. Random mobile. Huh. All right, so that was Science Central. And uh, it's very family friendly, lot for everybody to do. And uh, it was just something that was unique and interesting to go and see. What do you think, Margie? It was interesting. So, uh, as for that, if you like our content, please like, subscribe, and comment. 
And as for that, catch you on the next adventure. And remember, adventure is out there. Thank you.